What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, a lion today. I haven't drawn a lion in a while, I've done a few lions, but just the face. So this time I will do more of the body. I found a cool image of a lion walking. Let's go, landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So, if you've followed lion and big cat tutorials, usually I do the face and it's like really big. But this face, probably about here, in the top half, right, so it's quite small. Might have to zoom in here. Center point about here, we'll come up and start with the eyes. So we'll carve it, right? So big cats have like this black section around their eyes. So what we'll do is we'll carve this up, over, and down, right? So it's kind of got this point here in the corner. They've got like these big sort of pointy corners on their eyes, right? And then it comes back down and into like a point going down this way. Okay, so it's an unusual shape. And then the iris and the pupil, right? So big circular golden lion eyes. He's kind of like looking up and forward. So the top eyelid or the top um, pupil comes down from the top eyelid here. And then black all around. So this is all color black inside here. Okay, that kind of a thing. So we've got some lines coming around the eye. So big cats have this sort of whisker like area on top of the eye, right? So like coming out from the corner, they've got this sort of bump, this kind of eyelid or eyelash sort of thing here, right? And then we have sort of a top eyelid line. It goes out towards the corner. And then a bottom eyelid line, which comes right down and in towards the snout, right? So it's kind of like in line with the snout here. Okay. And then a kind of an eyebrow area, if you call it that. And these can be furry, sketchy lines, you know. They don't have to be straight or anything. Because he's mostly fur. So the other eye, you're about two and a half eyes or two eyes. If you stay within two eye widths, you should be okay. One, two. So if we went one, two, and then the next eye will start here. Okay, so that width of his eye, you could measure it with a ruler if you wanted, but you go roughly once, twice, two eye widths. Wider than human eyes. So this then will curve up, over, and like as well, you know, you could use your pen or pencil to just make sure they're like the same height. And then this curves down to that pointy part at the back. And then we go around again. And comes down to the point at the front. The iris and the pupil, big golden eye. What big golden iris like that and then the pupil coming down from the top again right and then color black around okay and then we'll add that sort of hairy shape that they have, the eyelash thing. Whiskers can sometimes come out of this, like, so they can like actually go a couple of these like extra sense things. Okay. 
right? And then we have eyelid coming along the top, the eyelid coming along the bottom. And then that big sort of eyebrow shape. Just coming down there. Okay, so the distance between the eyes is about the same distance. Right, so like here and here, this distance is the same as the distance between the eyes and like the nose, right? So here to here. If you went down, it'll get you to the nose. So you have an even triangle between the nose and the eyes. Like if you drew a line from here to here, that measurement would be the same from here to the nose, which is about there and there. So the cat's nose, so like the middle of the nose is about here. So we'll put the top of this bumping nose like that, right? So we have a pink section and a black section, right? So the pink section is like just here and it's got a V. Around like so. And then a line sort of up the middle. Right? So the middle of his nose from here to here, it's about the same as here to here and here to here. So it looks like a little cat at the minute. So we're just we're widen up the black so we're adding the black section now curves around here and then comes down to the front becomes like pointy and sort of black in here and then the same on this side and he's got this sort of dark nostril section around his nose and you just color all this black Okay, so then, so these two things, they don't have to be like totally even either. But I'll just try and make that a bit rounder at the end. So then, let's see. Snout. So. Let's see, like, so the snout, like, is kind of, it's got these sort of bumps that come down this way, right? Like these kind of facial bumps, and the snout comes out kind of around to the corner of the nose there. And the same sort of up here. It doesn't have to be like the same on both sides. But we'll just try and keep it even. Like this kind of a thing. And then some lines just going up across and then like a middle line going this way. Going up the center of his head. Okay, so that's roughly like the lines that cur come across this way are kind of like little vector lines that they just sort of show the curvature of his, of his snout there. Okay, so in the mouth itself, so we go down around and he's kind of like, you know, downturned kind of serious. Kind of cat mouth around and it goes up into the face just up this way and it kind of disappears into his face there and then we do the same thing on this side
Okay. And he has black sort of jowls, right? So he has like a black kind of lip area. It's kind of like furry and stuff. But it's like dark all in here. And then he's got like a very hairy kind of chin, right? So this starts to come out this way. But his black sort of lion lip like here. So it's like hanging down kind of like a pit bull or something, right? Pretty dark lips. It's like, I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of a dog's mouth, kind of if you have a dog or a cat or something. They have these black lips. Okay, so in this chin, real hairy. You can just add all hairlines, spikes. Kind of thing like this. And if you want some lines, some texture lines, just coming down the middle. Like so. Right, and then those whisker lines that he has around his nose as well. So we've got like, just like a bit of a skin line just here actually, coming around the nose. And then these dotted sort of whisker lines, right? So they're like these sort of dots that come along. You could do it with just lines as well if you wanted, but they kind of, they're more like dots. They kind of curve around his face there. Okay, uh, I had whiskers when of the rest drawn, if I remember. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> uh, okay, so his cheek. So he's got like this cheek line that's like underneath his eye here. Comes around from the corner of the eye. And then it kind of joins his face there. And then, so the big mane, right? And the face comes all the way around this way. So we have to go up from the middle. So he's got like his hair starting here, like a V, right? And he's got like facial lines that just come around here. Like his, the shape for his forehead. Just coming around this way. And then the hair, right? So we've got like these zigzags that come all the way around. And he's got like this sort of love heart shaped face, right? So this kind of goes down this way and it could be like, you could start to get some hair sort of hanging down. And this comes down around his face this way. And like just into his mouth, it like goes in just here. And so that's all going to be like hair then. Okay, so that's basically his face. So the rest is like mane and can't forget his ears. So hair. So let's go for the hair coming up, maybe the middle first, right? So we've got like this, these texture lines and hair spikes and stuff just sticking up the front. And it all starts to go like this way then. Right. About here, like diagonal from his 
eye. So there. We'll see his ear just kind of sticking up from out from behind the hair, right? So just this curved line, right? And then there's like hair that just like crosses it. Okay, so we do sort of the same thing over here, right? And you can make him as neat, his hair as neat as you want, or as kind of crazy as you want, really. <laughs> so we'll do the other ear about this level again. It's there. Right, and then all the hair then starts to, again, just go like down this way. So big round mane now. adding all these and like there's another sort of section here as well but it's kind of like broken sort of texture lines and these are like all wavy then. It's just kind of random. And then we have to go up the other side as well. Just keep sort of adding texture and sort of hair to all these things as you go. As much as you'd like, really. Okay, but that's basically the lion head, right? So now, there's another layer of mane that like goes around his paws, basically. At the front, it kind of like, the mane, keeps going like underneath the belly and then across the paws so it's like another layer of mane basically so we gotta do another layer of hair just like 
comes underneath the belly. So this kind of hangs down in two layers. And this one kind of comes over his leg. Right, so front paws, we'll go leg coming out this way, right? Okay, and then this side of his leg here, and then his like ankle kind of sticks out this way bumps down there and so then his front paws down like so and then these are like his toes that kind of stick out this way nice and then these are like these angled knuckles that come across the front one I'm missing one two three like a fourth one there and then you could have like a base to them like that right and you could have some more sort of bone lines and things just coming up this way And then they often have these like front claws that kind of stick out here. They're just these kind of dark lines. Like so, right? So one paw, the other one's like in the air that way. And then we have the hind leg. We'll do the hind one back this way first. So like curves, once, another curve here. And then the back leg comes down this way. So this is all just like, like his knee sort of from, has been viewed from the inside, right? A knee sort of there. And then his foot sticks out this side, like his ankle. And then it curves down here. Like this, kind of out to the toes then. And then again, you have these sort of four knuckle things. One, two, three, four. They look like sort of a mountain range, kind of like hills. Right, and then, so those toes again, so we'll go like, sticking out like this. Toenails. right and then that front paw that's kind of floating in the air right so we'll go this way curves out down 
and then the other side comes out from say here and then it's kind of like coming that way and this toe kind of like bumps around here and you can probably actually see some like spikes kind of sticking off there So go back up. There. Think the next one is there. Next one here. finally there okay so that's kind of tricky it's kind of subtle because it's like fur and then you may have some nails like again sort of like sticking off there like that and then the hind leg the line for that just going like this way it's kind of like smoother fur down here but okay And then whiskers and a tail. So what we can see of the tail is just like this sort of fluffy sort of thing kind of sticking off down here. Just sticking out there and then some whiskers, right? So you just do this kind of stuff for whiskers. Some longer, some shorter. Okay, but that's it. That's how to draw a line, a male line. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.